Welcome to Phoenix International Speedway. This afternoon we're here for the No Bull 80 lap race here at Phoenix. Phoenix International Speedway. Phoenix International Speedway is a one mile tri-oval and the unique thing about this track is we have 11 degree banking in the turns, 3 degrees on the front stretch and 9 degrees on the back stretch. Drivers have their hands full as they come off a of turn four to that front stretch where it almost flattens out. And uh, the transition from turn one and two to the back stretch is a little bit easier, but there's a little kink in the back stretch, which makes this a very challenging track. Well, let's go to Dalton down in our pits for a pit report. Yes, guys, we're in here in Phoenix, Arizona for today's race sponsored by PowerTech Power Solutions. You know, it's looking like the um, pit window is going to be about 40 to 50 laps. Um, been watching some practice here. I don't think it's going to go caution free, but we'll, uh, we'll find out in the race. And as we're watching um, qualifying here, it looks like the number seven has slid into the barriers coming in the pits. Getting it back going here. Number seven's going into one and two. Oh, one and two here. Yeah, Dalton, these, uh, several of these guys have had a time in qualifying just keeping the, the uh, car under them. The number Rick. seven has went through the dog leg and going in to turn three and four. Rick Moore is done. Just about to wrap up qualifying here, Dalton, and pretty soon we'll be gridding. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Phoenix. It's uh, 78 degrees, clear skies, and the wind's out of the north at 2 miles an hour. Uh, and as of right now... Today's race is the Power Tech Power Solutions LLC Cup Series race, No Bull Motorsports, and uh, we've got a pretty good field today. Uh, Dalton looks like we've got about 24 cars qualified, and uh, still got a couple coming out to to run their qualifying laps. So we're gonna have a great race at Phoenix this afternoon. Yeah, um, there's 26 here. Um, we got 24. We got the number three of Randy Hendrick on the track right now. Getting ready to start lap one of two laps here at Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, right now, Dalton, uh, David Washington's on the provisional pole with a 27038. So let's see if that uh, number three car that's recognized by everybody, uh, he just had a little trouble and got into the wall there. So hey, maybe he's going to try to make another run at it. And he's back out here making another run in his DuPont car today. That GM Goodrich paint job, that reminds us of the Intimidator himself. You know, it's the first race of the season. I think everybody's going to be feisty. It's just like Daytona. They're all going to be wanting that first place to be ready to move on the next week and have a good points, you know, good points day. And, you know, every point counts. Oh, and the number three is up in the wall hard. Going to the dog leg now, going in to three and four. That lap will not count due to hitting the wall. So yeah, don't no laps today. Yeah, I imagine his crew chief's going to take that thing back in the garage and tighten that up just a little bit. Crosses Ooh. the start finish line and crashes hard again. God, looks like the number three just, you know, just like flew here in about ten minutes and they got the car out of there and put on the freaking Bristol setup. 
Yeah, that's uh, they're going to have to do some work before we put that thing on the grid, or it's not going to make it around Phoenix too many laps. And starting on the pole today is David Washington with a 27.038. Starting second, the number four of Kevin Graham, 27.054. Starting third place, the number 40, Chad Osborne, with a 27.135. And starting fourth, the number 11, Nicholas Maynard, with a 27.141. Starting fifth place, Number 51, Brian Lambert, with a 27.171. Starting 6th, Rondy Cranber, with a 27.171. Starting 7th place, Mitch Leenan, with a 27.223. Starting 8th, Brad Spindle, the number 76, 27.242. Starting 9th, the number 45, 27.251. Starting 10th, the number 74, 27.254. And starting in 11, we've got Brian Neff. Starting 12th, Dave Oliveira. Starting 13th is Matt Hoffman. 14th, Jade Williams. 15th, James Rose. 16th is Matt Hose. Hose. 17th, Brian Terry. 18th, Philip Willis. 19th, Mitchell Norris. 20th is Chris Chergotis. And 21st, Marcus Miller. 22nd, Ronald Hearn. Uh, Henry, 23rd is Michael Demako, 24th Rick Moore, 25th Randy Hendrick, and starting 26th, 05 of James Garnier. That's your lineup for the 80 left here at Phoenix International Raceway today. The number 10 is on the pole, and got Kevin Graham on the outside. You know, in practice, and Kev, in practice Kevin Graham was fastest, and, you know, David was back there in fifth. Well, what do you, what do you think Kevin's got today? Well, Kevin's car seemed to be handling pretty well. Uh, you know, you really got to take care of those tires here, and, uh, you don't want to pinch it down too early. You want to stay a little wider. And uh, these first few laps until these tires come up to temperature, they're going to have a handful just looking at the way the cars were handling in practice. The pace cars got them underway, and they're going down the back stretch. And we should be going green the next time by the stripe here. Number 10 is on the inside for the start. Number 14 is uh, green, green, green. The green flag is out, and we're off here at Phoenix for the 80 lap race. Number 10 of David Washington pulls out by a couple of car lengths as they start the first lap going down the back stretch into turn three. Number four makes a hard charge on the inside and has to check Ooh, up. Seven. The yellow flag is out. Got several cars in a spin here. The 74. Oh, they wadded a bunch of them up in the turn. Our first yellow is out and we did not even complete lap number one. It's like the 74, the 54. Well, Dalton, that didn't take long. We were talking about how loose everybody was. And uh, let's see how many of them come down to pit road for repairs. Yeah, that's 74. I don't know. Yeah, he got loose off the dog leg, straight into the grass, and he goes into the 45. Looks like he, he that looks like a Clint Boyer and uh, Jeff Gordon there, but um, hopefully he can get that fixed. Yeah, the 12 car was involved, so this going to have a lot of sheet metal repair here. Uh, looking at the replay, wow. A couple of them managed to get through without getting touched, but uh, that did a lot of damage to the mid-pack there. Yeah, the 45 is down here in his pistol, and he uh, got right side tires, and it looks like he's pulling it behind the wall, and he's back out here. Dalton looks like number three also pitted, so he's uh, in there. they got the five and the seven on pit road, so a lot of action going on. The number one, Philip Willis, pulls into his pits. Let's see, Chip, what's he getting down there? Yeah, Philip Willis is, uh, he's getting, uh, four tires and no fuel. 
Double zero. The 50s in the pits. The 74 just came in. You're going to be busy down there, buddy. Yeah, you know, um, there's a concession stand right behind you. And, you know, before you leave Phoenix, you got to get a hot dog. So I think when there's a green flag, we're going to go get back there and get a hot dog and we'll come back. There you go. Well, the uh, cars are exiting the pits. Got quite a few that have some sheet metal damage. A lot of them, because of the spin, came in, had to take four new tires. And, uh, of course, your leaders didn't pit. They're not going to give up that valuable track position. David Washington still our leader. Kevin Graham is in second. Nicholas Maynard third. Chad Osborne is fourth. And Rodney Kramer's in fifth position. Yeah, and the lights were out, and we were going green this time by David Washington, the pole setter today, will be leading us down here to the green flag once again. Yeah, the pace car stays on the outside here, and then comes and cuts way down across the track, so uh, let's keep an eye on these guys on the restart, because uh, maybe we can make it. It's like they're going to take the green and going to be on lap five. And... Uh, Let's try to see if we can't get some green flag racing in here. Pace cars down, and we are getting ready to go green. Green flag is in the air. David Washington gets out to a good start. Kevin Graham is right behind him. It looks like Washington is going to pull out to about a three car length lead. Coming out of one, David Washington. Kevin Graham is closing the gap really quick. 92 is spinning. But we're still green here at Phoenix International Raceway. Double, double zero into the 92, 92 into the 62. Closer is out here at Phoenix International Raceway. Looks like they're gonna be coming down pit, down pit lane again. And Dalton, the 05 was involved in that wreck. Uh, the 92's got some heavy damage. He's down against the wall, trying to get turned around. Uh, finally got it in reverse. That's Brian Terry in that 92 car. Some heavy damage to the rear of that car. It's hard to turn. He's down on the grass now, trying to get back over to the pits. Yes, uh, he stalled it, and they got it back in the gear. And looks like they're going to be going down pit lane here. We're going to see who comes down pit lane. Gonna be a big sheet metal sale uh, Monday at the uh, shops of these guys because they sure got a bunch of bent sheet metal. The ones in Philip Willis is in the pits again. Looks like he took tires. He's got some heavy damage on the left rear. Yeah, Philip Willis is in here. They're behind the wall. They're fixing this car. They're gonna try to get out here, get every point they can. Here comes Michael Hamick down pit lane. The number 62 is coming in to. Get some damage fixed here. There's some sheet metal pulled out on that right side because he is all beat up. And taking also, the six, on that. Yeah, the 60's on pit road too. The 60 is of uh, Brian Neff is still on pit road, and he is away now, rolling back out to rejoin the field. Has some heavy damage on that 60 car. Yeah, that left side, they got some damage pulled out. They're going to try to stay on the lead lap here. Forty-five is also. If Emerson in the 45 car is on pit road, also the number 32, I believe, is the one car is still sitting there, and they're still working on that car. So he's going to lose a lap or two if he doesn't get out pretty quick.
I'd like to remind you our race today is brought to you by Power Tech, Power Solutions, uh, No Bull Motorsports. Uh, it's a great series. They've got uh, a lot of drivers in this series, and they're dedicated, and they run Cup, nation, the uh, Nationwide Series, Trucks, and Street Stock. So No Bull has a place for you to race. Just check out their website and give, give them, send them a message. All right, sir, we're going good in the standby. Cars are formed up two by two. And once again, David Washington, still our leader. We're going to take the green flag starting lap 10 now. As the cars come out of the turn, the face car is holding them at that steady 55 mile per hour speed. David seems to get a good jump on every restart here. Let's see if he can get back out there and get a little bit of a lead. Of course, it's. Uh, Every time he gets out to about five or six car lengths, the yellow, the yellow flags come out. The pace car's pulled off. David Washington has pulled away. Got a green flag. Once again, the number four just follows in his tire tracks. David dives off into turn one, hugging that yellow line. The four's right in his tire tracks. Start down the back stretch into turn three and four. They're going in the twin four. Too wide in the back. Right now the 11 car is running in third place. Nicholas Maynard is right up on Kevin Graham's bumper. And uh, one thing you don't want to do here is get get somebody right on you take the air off that spoiler because you need all the downforce you can get here at Phoenix. Looks like we got some slow ones on the bottom. He's getting back up on the 5 on the inside of the 8. David Washington, we completed uh, one whole lap. We're on lap 12 now. David Washington's out by just about uh, two tenths. Kevin Graham in second place. Rodney Kramer's back, eight tenths back. In that six car, Chad Osborne in the 40 is running fourth, and Nicholas Maynard in the 11 is running in fifth position. Hey Dalton, this might turn out to be a long race. Go down and grab your hot dog and check back with you in just a minute. Bring me one too. All right. David Washington is still yellow flag. We have another wreck. Got a car around going into turn three. Let's see if we can see who that is. Looks like the 12 car has spun. Jade Williams, he's back underway. I uh, don't believe he hit anything. Look at the replay now. It looks like the three. The three tried to go under the 12. Coming off the turn, slid up, tapped him in the back, and spun him out. Slides down and gets in the grass and locked it up on the asphalt. And did not hit anything, which is very fortunate. The 12's back underway with little or no damage to that car, so probably going to want to get some new tires. Didn't slide very far, but you lock them up and slide them flat spot those tires, and they're not very good to race with after that. Leaders are staying out, guys. I'm back after trying to get the hot dog, but got the word that caution came out, so God, I had to hop back in the seat down here in pit lane. We got the number five, the number 21, the number 14, and a few others coming down pit lane. There's about 10 cars coming down. We got James Ross coming down pit lane in the number 14 car, getting a full tire stop and no fuel. James in the 05 is back on pit road as well. The 7, the 75. But pit road's a busy place. The 05 is getting some sheet metal and working on the front end. Seventy-five and seven are rolling off a of pit lane. Forty-five is pulling out behind them. There comes the five and the twenty-one. Uh, these pit crews are going to be tired today. Maybe we ought to take them a hot dog down to the pit boxes. <laughs> they earned their money, and we're only fi about fifteen laps into the race, don't? 
Yeah, I might as well go get one now, because, I mean, heck, as soon as we go good, we're going to get another car, so I might as well go get them. One. All right, the 54 of the Napa truck, Napa car is headed down pit road as well. So, uh, looks like everybody's taking advantage. Uh, it's going to be pretty close. I don't know if, uh, probably could make it on one more pit stop from here. So, there's going to be some fuel strategy play into effect. Uh, so these guys are thinking constantly, trying to run the race backwards from this point. Everybody will have to make at least one more pit stop, and some of them may can make it from here. Brian that Terry has been waved around the pace car to get his lap back. Very good. Our lucky dog this caution is Brian Terry. He was the first car on lap down. So he's going to pass the pace car and get back on the lead lap, I believe. 26 guys started the race to today, and 26 cars are still out there. 24 are on the lead lap. Yeah, Brian Terry driving that 92 Chevrolet is our lucky dog, this uh, caution. And the car looks like the pace car car lights are out we're going to get ready to go back green this time take lap number 18 as we cross the strike A double file going in here to the, the dog leg we're going green this time lights are out going this time Good thing is we still got 24 cars on the lead lap. So still a lot of racing here to go at Phoenix this afternoon. Pace car's getting ready to go down pit lane and we're going to be going green. Green, 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 Dave Washington is green. Phoenix way. 18 laps of 80. We're going into turn one. Ooh, the four is catching him little by little. Kevin Graham is getting him. Two wide coming out of one. Two wide going into three and four. The 40 and the 11 are battling all up here. They're going into one. They're side by side. The 11 will third. Looks like the 62 of Michael Dimeco, uh, Dimeco is uh, off the pace a little bit. He's getting passed on the inside by quite a few cars. Uh, Michael's currently running in, in the 20th position and just tapped the wall uh, entering the turn there. The 60, yeah, the 62 is up the wall. The 92 is passing him. 92 is just got the way by. The 92 of Brian Terry. That's some pretty good racing up here between the five, Mitch, Mitch, and the number seven of Rick Moore. And her, and just as I say that, Rick goes up and scrubs the wall, and he's pretty loose. It's the 75 and the 12. We're looking to pass him on the inside. There's a lot of them loose coming out of four. The guys that got new tires, they're cold, and uh, some of the guys that haven't pitted yet only have 20 laps on their tires. But uh, here at Phoenix, this is a dusty track. Doesn't have a lot of grip today, it seems. 60, 75, and 7 and 12 are the battlers right now. 45 looking to sneak into this battle. 20 laps down, 80 to go, 60 to go. Yeah, and our leader up front, Dalton, is still David Washington. But uh, Brian Lambert in that, f I mean, Kevin Graham in that four car is right behind him, almost three-tenths of a second back in second place. And uh, Nicholas Maynard is third, Chad Osborne fourth, and Brian Lambert in the 51 is running fifth right now. Yeah, it looks like they're all seven fall coming out on one. And 
And just looking back on pit road, uh, Philip Willis in that number one car is still there. Uh, I don't know if they've given up on it or they're just uh, sitting it out. Not sure. Hello, down there on pit lane behind the wall getting some damage fixed. They figure it's first race of the year. we got to get some points out of this. Every point counts the last race. Post race of the season out of 10 races, every point's going to count. That's true. Every every point counts, and you, you don't want to leave any on the table if you get it fixed and get back out there racing, that's for sure. You sure don't want to blow a tire the last race of the season on the last lap. Got to finish ahead of somebody who knows, knows the tail with them and blow a tire when you go up in the wall and you're done. And know that if I would have finished Daytona, I'd, I would have beat him. Now David Washington is still our leader. He's led all 24 laps. His fastest lap of the race been a 27.191. Last lap, tires are going away. He ran a 27.662. So uh, he hasn't had tires. And just wondering if some of these guys that have been in a couple times and got fresh rubber are going to be able to catch our leader uh, with fresh tires. Because it, it looks like... Uh David Washington has pulled out to a two-second lead over fifth place of number 51 of Brian Lambert. Twelve just went under the three car, and that three car has been loose. Uh, they got together a little earlier, so uh, maybe he wanted that position back to make a point. <laughs> number 11 is in the wall loose. Now they're going to three and four. Seven in the outside wall, passed by four cars there. Rick Moore yeah. into the wall and four cars have went by him. Yeah, well, we've seen that a lot today. I mean, there's, you get up in that light gray area, there's not much grip at all. There's a lot of dust on this track. And uh, he, it's, the wall's like a vacuum cleaner. You get in the wall and it just wants to suck you in. And uh, after extensive repair, it looks like Philip Willis is coming back out on the track. Check with his uh, pit crew there and see what uh, what they fixed. Yeah, they're back out here. They just got a few more minutes of re optional repairs, and I figured every lap's gonna count, so we might as well just come out here and get some laps in. Next caution, we'll come down pit lane, get some tires and pit, and get some damage fixed. Brian Terry, that got the down that last caution, he is running in 23rd position there. Oh, his last lap was a 28.447, and our leader's last lap was a 27.746. So, uh, Mr. Washington's running considerably, f considerably faster than the cars back in the back of the field. You know, we've been talking about cautions. It's been about 12 laps since we've had a caution, but now we're going to talk about it. We'll probably have one, but uh, we're 30 laps down, 50 to go here at Phoenix International Raceway for the first race of the season. 54 to spawn the 75. The yellow flag is out. The yellow flag is out again here. Yeah, you... you you know, we talked about it before the race. You mentioned the word caution, and we get one. Yeah, the 75 was hard into the wall, and then as he was trying to straighten it up, the 7 came along and, and hit him and uh, did some more sheet metal damage. God, if I could put a microphone on the 75's crew chief and spotter, oh, Lord, I don't know. We'd have to blink out everything. Yeah, they're probably now. Uh... But, you know, you have to be careful passing these guys here because the cars are so aero-sensitive that not a lot of mechanical grip. And you take the air off the car in front of you or you get that nose under there and slide up into them. Uh, it's not good for anybody. You know, with 32 laps here, we may see our leaders come in and pit. Yeah, see what happens. 75's front end is very crushed. Hey, Dalton, our leaders are coming to the pit road. There's a 10 and a 4. Let us know what goes on down there. A 10 of David Washington is coming down pit lane. David Washington, right behind him, Kevin Graham. Everybody's coming down pit lane, it looks like. 
David Washington into his pistol. Kevin Graham right behind him. David Washington's just in for a full tire stop. So is Kevin Graham. David Washington in for four tires and Hey David, we see you just took uh, four tires and fuel. Uh, got a pretty good race going on here today. Uh, how's everything going for you? Uh, people behind you are having a hard time getting the grip on the racetrack. Yeah, I've uh, been listening to my spotter. He's uh, keep me nice and calm and uh, keep me from overdriving it. I'm just trying to uh, set my own pace and not worry about the guys behind me that are trying to put the pressure on. Yeah, it's uh, been a pretty uneventful race for the front runners. Uh, Kevin seems to be staying right there with you, but you seem to get a pretty good jump on every restart. Yeah, I'm trying. I think he's catching on to that uh, last two uh, restarts there, so I'm going to have to change it up. Well, good luck the rest of the race. It looks like from here you can probably make it on one more pit stop. Is that about right? Uh, if it if we get a late yellow, I probably will pit for two tires. But if it goes green, we should be good, I think, because we're on, what, lap uh, 47? Yeah, we'll see uh, what happens here in later run. David, before we get going here, if it goes green the rest of the race, um, uh, you th can you make it on fuel for the rest of the race? Uh, I can't tell right now under pace. Uh, it's showing 72, but... Uh, I won't know until I get up to speed here. If I, uh, I think if I back it down some, and not run as hard, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, we're right. we're on lap 34 now. When you cross the stripe, we'll be on 35. So you're on lap 35 now. So well, good luck the rest of the race. Thank you for talking to us and uh, uh, take care out there. Thanks. We got quite a few cars, Dalton, that did not pit under that yellow. Uh, David's shown in fourth place, so uh, these guys are probably going to get a wave around uh, so our leader can be back up there on the front row behind the pace car. All right, sure, guys, and we're going green this time by Matt Hoos is going into three and four with Mitch on the, on the outside. Sorry, and then the third is Randy Hendrick. That's your only people that have stayed out this race for this caution. We're going to be going green. Right now our leaders, the number 21 truck car of Matt Hoos. And on the outside, the number five, the green flag is out. And they're going. David Washington, who led from the very drop of the green flag, is starting in fourth position. And he's going to quickly try to dispose of those two cars up front. He's got to be careful. The three is down on the inside as they dive down in the corner. David's taking over second place. And he is making a dive under Matt Hoos in that 21 car. The yellow flag is out. And yellow flag is out. But I think David already had already had the lead when the flag came out. 90 wrecks in the one T-bone tomorrow. No wheel. Big time wreck in the Phoenix International Raceway. Caution is out. 37 lines into it. Well, the good news for David is he did make that pass before the yellow came out. And uh, so he is a leader. and He'll have that bottom groove. Wow. Yeah, that was a tremendous wreck there when the 90 spun. And he got hit again after this. Twice he got hit. So uh, his pit crew is going to have a lot of work to do. The right side of that car took a tremendous lick in the door there. Now, the, I imagine the guys, Dalton, that did not pit on the last caution are going to come in now because we're going to be halfway here pretty soon. The 12 car's got heavy damage on the left door. So he's had a pretty rough day. The last time he spun, he didn't have any damage. And what are they doing on pit road, Dalton? We got the 12 coming down. He's going to get some sheet metal pulled out of that left side. We got the number 21 of Matt Hoos down here for full tires and a full, full tank of gas and he's getting a wedge adjustment. Twenty-one is out, and twelve is like I said is getting some sheet metal pulled out and four tires, no fuel. And Mitch in the five Lowe's 
car is out of the pits and back out on the racetrack. The 21 and the 3 race off there like uh, David Pearson and, and Earnhardt used to do. They did not want to give any, each other any room. True that. <laughs> And the, the five lows car doesn't seem to have any damage on it. These guys have been sliding into each other in the turns, uh, hitting the wall on the right side. Like I said, uh, go buy your friendly race shop Monday or Tuesday morning, and they're probably going to have a big sale on sheet metal because this is pretty much used up. Once again, we're on lap 39 here at the Power Tech Power Solutions Cup Series race. No bull motorsports. Yeah, you know, I just I, I went past Junior Motorsports. Uh, Tuesday night, and David was in there. They're getting ready for this weekend. David drives for Junior Motorsports, and uh, you know they're going to be. They ain't going to be selling anything, but uh, a few of these, a few of these other teams are going to be selling a lot of sheet metal. Yeah, that right now. Oh, after the pit stops, uh, showing David Washington in first, Nicholas Maynard in second, Kevin Graham in third, Ryan Lambert fourth, Chad Osborne in the 40 and fifth place, and a uh, couple lights are still on on the pace car, so we've got at least one lap. Lights are out, we're 40 laps down, 40 to go, we're halfway, halfway here at Phoenix International Raceway, we're going green this time. Yeah, the, uh, 05 car James Gagnier was the car he got the wave around that lucky dog that last caution and we're getting ready to go back green and our leader again is David Washington let's see if he can get that big jump his uh, number four car right behind him on the inside and 11 on the outside so let's watch this restart and see if David can get that big lead again he doesn't have anybody to pass this time just waiting on that pace car to get out of his way. Pace car is off, and David hits the throttle and gets a big jump on the four. The 11 is about three car lengths back as they go down the front stretch into turn one. Two wide back there. They're now they're single file back through fourth and double wide for fifth and sixth David Washington your leader into turn three and four the 11 slides up the track a little bit first four cars are nose to tail as they go over the tunnel turn back down across the start finish line into turn one I'm back from down there I think David's pretty confident that he can go the rest of the way I'm sure he'd just like to see green flag for the re remainder of the race. Uh, he's running about a half a car length off the yellow line on entry and then hugging that yellow line over that tunnel turn again and down the front stretch across the stripe. David's last lap was a 27.081. Nicholas Maynard. Lap of the race was a 27. That was his fastest lap of the race on lap 42, Dalton. Yeah, the 11, Nicholas Maynard and Kevin Graham, the number four, have been battling. I saw David Washington pulling out to the big lead. I just stopped by the PIR concession, got me an Oreo blizzard, and I'm back here ready to call some action. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, 78 degrees here, but track temperature days right up around 100 degrees, and that black asphalt down there is pretty hot. Got a car in the wall, I think. See if the yellow comes out. I'm sure David hopes it doesn't. No yellow, so our leader keeps running. These cars still look awful loose. You'd think that the uh, pit crews would have made some adjustments, but Dalton looks like uh, they just can't get a hold of this track today. There's a few of them, you know. Randy Hendrick and Paul Vaughn, he couldn't. Just, they just came out here and had no luck at all you know we got Brian Nip, the number 60 he's running ninth place you look at his left side 
it looks like his left side just got destroyed by Hurricane Sandy. So, that's pretty good for Brian Neff, actually doing pretty good here today, on in ninth place. Only about four seconds behind with big time damage. Well. Yeah, we got a battle going on between the five and the number 92. And uh, these guys are really running hard. And as you can see, the car wants to push up out of the turns that transition from the 11 degree turns to that flat back stretch. Uh, and the front stretch does not give them much grip. And the five is looking on the inside going into turn one on the 92. And uh, he looks like he's going to make the pass. Can he make it stick? these guys have got so much sheet metal damage I'm sure, uh, they're just trying to hang on and stay on the lead lap and the pace that uh, our leader said he is uh, he's going to be coming in some lap traffic here pretty quick back in the pack got Randy Hendrick in the uh, three car trying to get around the Emerson in that 45 Emerson held him off that time on entry, and the three looks to dive under him, had to check up, hit the brakes. Almost had a collision that would take out a couple of cars and bring out the yellow again. Looks like Emerson's a little bit quicker in, and Randy's having to get on the binders to keep from running over him. David Washington out to a one and a half second lead over Kevin Graham. We're 50 laps down, 30 to go. God, is this race flew by today. Yeah, Michael D'Amico's uh, running in 22nd position currently. And right now, we still have uh, 22 cars on the lead lap. And Michael is 14 seconds behind the leader. And he is the last car on the lead lap, Dalton. Right now, David Washington's got everything under control. He looks like he's out on a Sunday ride. Got the three and the 45 back there battling for position. And the three couldn't get him going in. Looks like he's going to try to get him on the outside. Let's see how that race turns out. And the Three makes the pass and gets around Emerson. So that battle's over. Now the three's going to be going after the 14 and see if he can't gain another position. Of course, the 14 is James Ross, and uh, they're running pretty comparable lap time. So we'll see how they go there. Three's looking on the bottom of the 14, and he makes the pass. Our three car driven by Randy Hendrick has uh, gained another spot, puts him up in the 11th position. Boy, looking at Jake Williams in that 12, he's still got some sheet metal damage. Several of the cars out here look like they've been in a demolition derby this afternoon. Looks like the 90 car of Chris Jagotis has taken that car back to the hauler. Seemed to be done for the day. They were involved in a couple of accidents early on and uh, had significant damage. So there's probably some suspensions part were, that were bent and they just couldn't get it fixed. Three car Randy Hedrick is running in 11th position now. Got a little ways to go before he can get to anybody in front of him. 
But uh, up in 10th place is Eric De La Riva in the 74. And then the 60 is running in front of him in ninth. And that's Brian Neff. Brian Neff is having an awesome run today. Especially with some damage there. He's still running ninth place. We got 22 on the lead lap out of the 26 here today. But only 24 on the track. We got the 40 and the 70. On the, track. the 40 and... Yeah. 60 and 74 going to do a 60. Getting loose when he goes into turn 3 and 4. As this goes on the apron, the 74. And him make contact, but 60 saves it. And got the 75 on the apron. The 75 smoking really, really bad. So looks like that engine may be gone. Yeah, the 75's got severe front end damage on the right and the left, and he's gone past his pits. He backs up in the pit stall. A tremendous amount of smoke. Looks like he may have bur bur burst the oil cooler on that car. 75, yes, has almost blew it up. They're getting a new engine. They're behind the wall. So many guys have been behind the wall today. Yeah, and the 75. Most it on the front stretch and went into the inside wall. That is what caused that. 75 is in the garage. Yeah, I doubt if he'll be back. That's significant damage to that race car. So they'll have a lot of work to do. The double zero is up here looking at the 76. Got a little battle going between 6th, 7th, and 8th there. Uh, Chad Osborne in 6th position. Uh, Brad Sp Sp Spadell in 7th. Dave Oliveira in third, and uh, they're about a few car lengths apart, but every now and then they'll bunch up. Looks like somebody's trying to make a pass. If you go back and look at Rodney Kramer driving the Ford Fusion today, his front end is all wrinkled up. Looks like he got into somebody earlier in the race, but still, our leader, David Washington, by one and a half seconds over Kevin Graham. 62 laps of 80. Oh, caution flag is out. Car spin there. Looks like the seven Rick Moore is coming down pit lane involved in the wreck. Well, looks like the yellow flag's out for I think our fourth caution of the day. So we'll take this yeah, opportunity to, to talk about our sponsors and our race series here. It's a No Bull Race Series. And one of our commentators, correction, sixth caution of the day for 20 laps of caution. We're on lap 63, I believe. And... Um, uh, one of our announcers that's normally here in the booth with us is Rick Donathan, Law Dog. And Rick is out tonight protecting everybody. He had to work this evening and uh, told him we are going to miss him here in the booth. And he said he was going to get home when the shift's over and uh, watch the replay. So you guys be careful out there driving. Rick is a state trooper and uh, he will pull you over if you're drinking and driving or speeding. So... Watch your P's and Q's because Law Dog is on the job. Ten of David Washington's down pit lane. He's taken four tires and, and no fuel. But the number four of Kevin Graham takes two tires, no fuel, and he's out. And he'll roll out first. David Washington will roll out fourth. Wow, I didn't, you know, tire strategy is going to play a big uh, part of this here. And wow, I, you know, it sounded like David was pretty happy and probably wasn't going to come get tires, but... Uh, he made a decision he's going to have some catching up to do now from fourth.
11 cars just in front of him, and he's shown to be considerably faster than that 11 tonight, this afternoon rather, so we'll have to see what happens up there in the front. And uh, Nicholas in the 11 is running third. Matt Hoffman is second place now in that pretty purple number two. And then Kevin Graham in the one car. But remember, Kevin Graham had a tremendous amount of damage. So I don't think he, I think he stayed out. But uh, he's got a, a lot of uh, damage to that, to that number one car. 26 guys started the race today. Only 21 are left and 21 are on the lead lap. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kevin Graham is in the four car. I made a mistake. The, the one car did not pit and should get the wave around, I think. He's the one that was uh, many, many laps down and uh, was up in the pits earlier for quite some time. The leader shown, Kevin Graham, number four. And there goes the one. He did get the wave around, so he's going around the back. Our Power Tech, no Power Tech Power Solutions Cup Series race is brought to you today with the Noble Racing Series. And we are on lap 66 of 80. And uh, the class of the field today has been Kevin has been Mr. Washington in that number 10, who's currently in fourth place. But uh, David uh, hasn't had too much problem overtaking the competitors. This last restart here, if we can go green the rest of the way, is going to be an exciting remaining laps here. 13 to go when we go green. Kevin Graham's leading us down. And then along, him, along with him on the outside is Matt Hoffman. Third place, Nicholas Maynard. Fourth place, David Washington. Fifth place, James Ross. We are going green in a few moments. I hope we uh, hope green, green, green flag is out. Yeah, I hope we've seen our last caution. And here they go. The four ducks to the outside of the two. Now back to the bottom. Oh, the, the ten to the two. Yeah, the, the ten almost got in the back of the number two and uh, got loose. But now he's up behind the 11. So David's in third place as they go down into the turn. Oh, he bumps the 11. He got... Somebody spin in the back with the yellow flag is out again. Wow, the 05 was involved. Heavy damage and a lot of smoke on the 05 there. And the 5, the Lowe's car has got some damage. Tremendous amount of front end damage. Well, that green flag didn't last very long. Let's look at the replay and see if we can see what happened. Oh, the five just got loose and hit the outside wall. Came around and caught a couple other cars. The, the old five is smoking badly as well as the five. So, uh, don't know if he pitted or not, but if he had cold tires, they just did not stick in the turn when they went flying down in there on that restart. Twenty-one are still out there, and we've got eleven to go. But the 05 in twenty-first position out there, and he's got some big-time damage, and he's smoking. He's going to be taking it behind the wall. Also, we got one car that retired. Rick Moore in the seven had too much damage. Uh, they put their truck on the hauler, and also Michael Norris in the fifty-four. They're out of the race today and and headed home, and also Chris. Chigort, Chigortis has also retired in the 90. So we've got quite a few cars that have packed it up. Good thing about here at Phoenix, they got that tunnel. They can get out and don't have to wait till the end of the race. Kevin Graham is our leader. He's only led six laps today. So uh, I'm sure he'd like to lead the remaining laps, but uh, Mr. Washington back there in that 10 car will have something to say about that. 
Uh, he sat on the pole, has led the most laps today, and uh, he is, uh, I'm sure he wants this victory, the first race of the season. The lights are on our pace car. Let's see if they go out this time. If they do, we'll take the green flag the next time by. I'd like to thank Laura Lawson, our producer director, and takes care of all of our camera angles. She does a great job in the booth to give you the best shots of all the action here at Phoenix International Raceway. The cars come out of turn four and go down the front stretch from our camera high atop the uh, tower here. Looks lights like are out, light. we're going green this time. Yep, lights are out, we're gonna go racing and uh, pull those belts tight. Guys, buckle up, because when we come by, we're gonna have, I think, about eight laps of racing to go. So this should be a great shootout and uh, Enjoy the action, folks. We've been action-packed all afternoon here at Phoenix. All right, we're getting ready to go back green. The pace car is off. That number four kind of drugged the brake a little bit. Brake check the 10. I'm sure that didn't make him happy at all. The 11 gets in front of the 10. Uh, it gets a little bump. Now the 51 comes up to the back of the 10 bumper. Folks, hold on. Whoa, the 10 goes out and smacks the wall. The 51 spins the 11. Yellow flag is out. Oh, man. That was a disaster for a restart. Our leader had led the most laps was involved. The 11 was involved. The 51, quite a few cars, a lot of damage. The 11 and the 51 get together. The 11 comes back across the track. Wow, that changed everything. Look at that replay. The cars just accelerate when they go through that grass and there's no way to do any braking. Came back out on the track and just pounded a couple other cars. Ten got tapped. He got loosened. The 11, the 11 came down, and the 10 goes back and hits the outside wall. Wow. I hope he doesn't have much damage to that car, but I'm sure he has some steering damage at the least. Great action there by our camera, guys. Good job. Kevin Graham is our leader in the four. And believe it or not, after getting in the wall, David Washington in the 10 is second. We've got a new third place driver, Matt Hoffman in the two. Chad Osborne in the 40. And fifth place is James Ross. Nobody, unless they have some damage, should be coming to pit road, I think. David may be okay. He did get into the outside wall, but that damage doesn't look significant on the 10. Don't see any tire smoke, so he shouldn't have a tire rub. Next time by the strike, they're going to take 75, which is six to go. Looks like we may get the green flag with either four or five laps to go. The question is, will we make it under green? Great crowd here today at Phoenix and uh, we miss Law Dog up here in the booth because he probably missed the best opening day here at Phoenix for the No Bull Racing Series in quite some time. The lights are still on on the pace car. We'll watch him after they pass the strike. I'm sitting up here on the hill in three and four, and this is a pretty race to, pretty good race to watch here. Yeah, I'm glad we gave you that golf cart because it'd be a long run up there, young man. 
Just watch out for rattlesnakes. You know they call that rattlesnake hill for a reason. Yeah. We seen a few holes, so uh, we better be better be ready at least. <laughs> that seems to be. In, doesn't seem to be any da yeah, doesn't seem to be any damage on the two car. They're going to start in third, and uh, David's car doesn't look like it's too bad. But four doesn't seem to have a scratch on it, so that's going to. Looks like we got the 32 coming to pit road. Severe damage to the right front. The lights are out on the pace car. So we'll be going green this time by. Taking the green on lap. Taking the green on lap 77. The number, the number four, Kevin Graham. Starting first. And then in second place, David Washington. You pull setter. Has some damage. He got it caught up in the last track. But we'll see if he can get it done here. We're going to be going green with three to go. I got it. We're going to be going green with four to go. Face car getting ready to go down the pit lane. Let's hope nobody does any brake checking this time because that messed them up last week. Okay. Number four, Kevin Graham is out to a big lead. Oh my gosh. Three car lengths. The number two on the inside of the 10. Oh, the 40 tries to make it three wide. The number 10 is sideways. He saves it. The number four is going. Breeze down the inside of the 10 and passes our leader. So Matt Hoffman has moved up into third place. The 40 comes up, touches him. Wow, this is a land rush for the end of this race. Here's action all over the racetrack. Leader David Washington's back in fourth place. Right now our leader still the four car of Kevin Graham and the two. Keeps making a charge, but I don't know if he has anything for him. Lap 78. As they come out and forward and down the front stretch. 79 of 80. Last time by was 2.78. 0.278. Matt Hoffman was behind that lap. He's by, behind by 0 0.305. Looks like he's closing the gap, but I don't know. We're coming around for the one to go. Who is going to win here at the first race of the season out of 10 races at PIR? Come out of turn four down the front stretch. Four had a little wiggle. Crosses the line. A white flag is shown to number four. Matt Hoffman running in second. Rick Hendrick in third. And our leader is Kevin Graham. Back in Randy Hendrick. And right now, David Washington, our pole sitter, is in fourth, making a big charge under the three. They Kevin, slide up and they touch. Kevin Graham coming out of turn four. Your winner here at Phoenix International Raceway. Following him, Matt Hoffman. Yes, sir. We got Kevin Graham, your winner. Matt Hoffman is second. Randy in the three is third. David Washington, fourth. In fifth place, Chad Osborne in the 40. 14 of James Ross is number 6. Brad in the 76th, 7th. Brian Lambert is 8th. ninth is Rodney Kramer. And 10th place is Emerson in the 45. He was in several wrecks early on and ends up with a top 10 finish. Kevin is down here on the front stretch, burning it down, doing burnouts. Going to get that checkered flag and take it back to the crew in victory lane. User joined your channel. User left your channel. Well, folks, what a race today for the first race of the season. Once again, Kevin Graham was your winner. Matt Hoffman was second. Randy Hendrick, Hedrick was third. David Washington, fourth. Chad Osborne in fifth. Uh, who do we have in the booth with us? Kevin, what a fantastic race. You 
Kevin, what a great race. You ran there in second you position for a good bit of the day. And uh, tell us about your win. Well, um, basically the two tires on the last stop got me the win. Um, David was uh, definitely faster than me on the, the short runs. And he'd get out there. And then once the tires would come in, he, uh, him and I were about the same speed. So I, uh, I really couldn't catch him. But uh, the only way I knew I was going to pass him is if I took the two tires and uh, ended up holding up. The late cautions kind of helped out. But, uh, yeah, I'm just glad it worked out. <laughs> Well, great job. I bet it feels great to start the very first race of this season off with a win, and you are the points leader. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, anyone, anybody wants to start out, you know, first race of the season just like that. And uh, uh, it's been not a great season in other series I've been running, but uh, uh, to, to start it off like this with the noble guys and the tough guys that race against in this field, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. Hopefully you can keep it going. Well, congratulations, and we, we'll see you next week. Maybe you can duplicate the results. Thank you very much, thank Kevin. You, thank you. If I could uh, thank some people real quick, my uh, team over at... Um, uh, uh, User was moved out of your channel. User was moved to your channel. David, this is uh, Wayne Finley. Uh, great run you had going there. Tell us what happened on that last uh, restart. Uh, the last one there, it, the, for some reason, the car felt totally different from the start of the race with the tires that I had, and it just was super loose. I just uh, just broke loose on me. I did notice on the restart, Kevin brake checked you a little bit, and you, uh, or the 11 did, rather, and you got it in the back of him, so that kind of started the uh, the pinball motion there. <laughs> Yeah, I knew I wanted it to go green at that point when I got in behind them because I knew within a couple laps of uh, with them being on two tires that I would have been able to get around them on the bottom. But uh, now I, I made the wrong choice and took the four tires instead of two. Well, it was a, a decent finish there. You finished up fourth. You did a great job. You led the most laps today and clearly had the uh, car to con everybody to contend with so very good race and uh we look forward to seeing you next week yes sir thank you all right uh, once again our winner kevin graham and thank you for watching our race today brought to you by power tech power solutions llc from the no bull motorsports racing series our 80-lap final here, uh, first race of the season for Phoenix. And Dalton, have you got any closing remarks? Next uh, next Monday, we're going to Homestead. 80 laps at Homestead. Looking like a full field, 30 cars as of now. And uh, thanks for everybody coming out here tonight, watching the broadcast. And um, uh, that's it from here at LSO TV. We'll see you next week. All right, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dalton. Thanks, uh, Laura, back in the booth. And hopefully next race, Law Dog will be here with us. Thank you again for watching, and good night.